good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon from wherever you're watching my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about a very important topic from the point of view of parents and kids. That's about parenting mistakes and uh, this is going to play a very important part in all the counseling sessions that I do with my clients. And these are very, very small um, household stuff, you know, probably very minor. And as we all know, very minor things, you know, make very big differences. So it's just like that. So understanding the importance of this topic, I personally have decided to release this video in three different languages so it can reach all people. And uh, it will be released in Marathi, Marathi, which is my very dear mother tongue. It will be released in Hindi, that's national language for everybody in India and abroad, as well. People can just listen to it. And obviously, English, um, that's the main communication language across the world because we all are connected nowadays through internet. So that's all what I'm doing for this topic. And Without any delay, let us begin with the stuff. I do have my study notes ready uh, because there are really uh, 14 to 15 points that I came up with which are very, very common problems and I'm also going to share success stories. So first of all, point number one, uh, your time expectation. So every time I are your kid, you know, I'm talking right from the school age kid to um, there's no age limit in India because in India even if the person grows 45 years old, the person is always going to be kid for, uh, you know, uh, their parents. But um, just remember it, you know, um, for kids, for teenagers, uh, whenever you are in the chair of uh, a character that is named as parents, you always have to remember these things, you know. Uh, so let us begin once again. Um, your time expectations. Uh, this wasn't the situation at our time, and we used to do something differently. And what you're doing is, you know, not what we used to do. So this is wrong. This is not good. In our times, we never used to do that. So forget about your times. Um, you may or may not like it. I personally may or may not like it. Time keeps on changing and as time changes, unfortunately or fortunately, we have to change. And I think change is the biggest thing in any um, situation, you know. Uh, change is the biggest thing for which we do have resistance from inside. So stop doing this and if you resist what happens is, you know, uh, you're creating more friction in that uh, situation, no matter what is the situation, maybe right from changing your home to getting something, uh, new course admission to your kid that you don't like personally or any situation. So, wherever there is resistance, friction, you gonna be at pain. Okay, so this is you gonna suffer and you gonna invite pain in your life. So, stop doing it. Okay. Point number two, uh, more, more, more. So this is very common. I see in a lot of uh, parents, no matter from which country they come from, because everybody, you know, uh, sees uh, lots of potential in the kids. Everybody loves the kids, and what we feel is, you have, you know, love more things to do. You can do much more better than this, and this more better more better more better more better never stop you know so in this this is a very good kind of a motivation if it is used in that way but if it keeps on going on like that and you forget appreciating what they have done what they have already accomplished you know then this creates the biggest blunder like it uh that kind of you know dilemma uh, in the kid's mind like what should they do exactly and a kind of stuff like whatever I do um, she always wants more my mom always wants more so at one stage they feel like no I can't just do that and they give up whatever they're doing and it's horrible okay and there are lots of emotional and um, 
you know these kind of changes inside which take a lot of time to heal and let them come back to their normal state and uh, when people come to me when their relationships are already uh, you know really horrified and in that case to make them heal it takes time because of these things are happening and having things long period of time maybe things ages and you are just not realizing about it so stop doing it motivate them this is a very correct thing okay but you have to appreciate whatever things they are doing okay so don't forget to appreciate third thing is comparison so maybe comparison with the um uh, siblings, comparison with their cousins, comparison with their school uh, friends or whatever, you know, so this is a blunder, comparison skills and it's again a big topic, we can uh, talk and talk and talk, so stop comparing and um, next point is your stress when it goes over yourself and pass it to your kids, it's really wrong. Uh, I do understand there are lots of frustrations and more competition, lots of competition increase and we are connected worldwide so it's a uh, global competition nowadays. You might get stressed, I do agree so first of all that's what I want to tell you. Uh, understand your own capacities as well sometimes, you know, uh, learn to say no, sometimes accept your limitations, forget about your egos and uh, if you are under stress, you need to work on yourself because if this stress passes to your kids, that's going to be their childhood memories and this can not only ruin their childhood, but it creates the kind of image of yours in their mind, which cannot be erased. So be careful about it. And um, next point is free feeding them about relatives. So we know being adults there are lots of plus and minuses going on and a uh, few people that are there inside your circle right now they can go apart and few people who are apart they can come in and few people who went apart they can eventually once again come inside. Nothing is permanent because only change is constant in the world. <laughs> I'm getting kind of sleep, excuse me. So nothing is constant and only change is the constant. This is true. Uh, you check it out spiritually, you check it out physically <laughs> uh, from, you know, the counseling point of view. Change is the only thing which is constant. So you have to uh, be ready for that. So you need to work on yourself. Don't free feed your kids like, you know, uh, you know, your so and so relatives are like that, so don't talk to them. But, you know, if adults are having fights, then kids should not or also, you know, play with each other and like that. In the societies or in the relative stuff, whatever. Because I've seen uh, many such uh, incidences and it really ruins the lives of uh, children. And once they grow up, it spoils their further lives. I mean, the relationship with, you know, for example, their cousins, if uh, they are bombarded in their childhood, like, don't talk, you know, with these so-and-so, and once they grow up as an adult, they don't know what to uh, keep it at first, you know, whether the preferences of their parents are uh, being normal, good, genuinely, hi, hello, okay, stuff, and this is not good, anyway, okay, so... Uh, don't free feed them. I have also seen free feeding them in case of uh, if you know uh, your kids um, they love uh, someone like kids are so cute and they're so innocent and um, they just love someone if they love someone maybe their aunt maybe their um, cousin or whatever and they force you that uh, or maybe they are you know uh, grandma and they force you again and again just take me to her house because I love her because I just love spending time with her I love spending you know time by doing so and so with her and whatever we do time by so they just love someone even while crossing roads they see some uh, faces on the street and they smile kids are so innocent you know 
babies and stuff. <laughs> Not kids, obviously. Babies give beautiful smiles, uh, even for the people who are crossing over the street. Six to eight months baby. And it's so beautiful. It uh, gives you literally like a uh, touch of rose on your cheeks. It's so beautiful. So uh, this is how, uh, you know, babies are, this is how the kids are and uh, in that case also you have something in your mind like, you know, if you go to that person again and again and again, it won't look good or uh, there are some things going on inside you that you don't find that compatible for you or for yourself or whatever is going on inside and you are trapped, point is, you know. And uh, then you force it on your kid and actually what you're doing is you're just finding very good and relaxed and leisure time for your kid. Once they're going to grow up, they're going to get their friends and they're going to get their, you know, uh, education classes and blah blah, then they're not going to come back in this. Once they are going to turn into adult human and their brains also going to start working like that and they're going to play some kind of tricks and tags then they're going to be adults. So don't go in their innocent childhood time. What do you think about it? Do share in the comments, right? Because these are innocent moments and let them have it. And if you were unfortunate, you didn't get it, then let your kids get it if they are getting it from somewhere, right? So keep your own thoughts apart. And if you can start working with yourself, that will be really a welcoming change and I'm here to help you out for this thing. Trust me, it creates wonders not only in this situation but entirely in your life. Okay? So next point is always instruction. So uh, always instructions is a very funny thing. No matter how much you grow, what age you are, your parents will be there because of you know uh, what they feel about you the care and um, they want always you to be safe and be top out everywhere or whatever so instructions always come even if you're going out drive safely do call me up once you reach and whatever so sometimes being a parent I do understand you do feel but uh, stop being instruction mom. It's it's not a good thing, you know. Uh, always not a good thing. Sometimes when really instructions are needed, then kids by that time have learned to, you know, use their both ears. They listen by this one ear, and they get everything out <laughs> from this other ear. So don't you know? Uh, let them get used to all these things. Your instructions are very valuable. That's that's what I want to tell you. So when the time comes and when you actually want to give them instructions, you should have the value of your every word. Don't use it randomly here and there. Okay. So I know there are lots of points, and uh, you can save this video in your playlist. You can. Uh, listen to this video once again, take your notes, okay, and uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's very useful, I know, and there are more points, so I'm moving to more points, uh, so next point is uh, over pampering or over freedom, yeah, giving them over freedom because we didn't get it at our time, so let my kids have it. If it becomes excess, then your kids, you know, might went somewhere wrong that you don't know. So this is also not good. Okay. Yeah, this is really very serious. And if you're pampering your kids so much, like nowadays in India, we are having hardly one kid per family. And whatever is there, you know, that everything is for him or everything is for her this is the useless attitude i tell you this is not just useless and killer attitude for your kids because 
Okay, let me talk about a letter. But this is also killer of its use for your own. I'm going to come to that point at the end of this video. So what happens is when you kids know whatever is there, monetary, uh, your investment, or anything what they ask they're getting at, or they are the only one important in the house. The kids become horrible, horrible person. And you know, it is maybe okay and kind of um, controllable when they are kids, but when such person grows into adult, the person becomes extremely um, weird creature, like cannot adjust with anyone else. And there are lots of further issues in their professional life and in their personal life too. They can't think about anybody else in that case and this kills the kid this kills their life so stop doing it if you don't and at least don't say this in front of your kids <laughs> okay at least you know this will be the welcoming step next one is your expectations on them so like you wanted to become a doctor and you couldn't wanted to become a scientist and you couldn't your kids should fulfill your dream uh, this was there at my parents uh, time when my parents were young and I see now this is not much in the society but still if you're doing it stop doing it they are altogether different individuals they have their own skills and talents and uh, they will find their own way your job is to just give them support, give them all good values and give them such values that with which, you know, they can uh, grow and they can step up every step of success in their personal life, in their professional life and entirely in the life ahead when you're not going to be there with them. So understand your role. You're not a dominating person or they are not born to you know, uh, fulfill your dreams or this is again a useless attitude that uh, we have grown you up means you must think about us. So you are not doing any kind of favor to them. If this statement is, you know, um, if, if this statement comes from your kids to you someday, uh, you will cry out, you will break out. And by that time, more hormonal uh, disturbances inside you so you will be in the hover but let me tell you right now see yourself as an individual and see them as an individual and if you fail maintaining the space it ruins the family okay it ruins the family and I don't think so you should experience that so everything is now everything is now this is the time for you to change. If you have already triggered out some of these issues, everything is still now. Start changing yourself now. Everything will change. Okay? And if you're watching this video in advance when you're just new mamas and papas, I really appreciate you and I thank God that uh, God brought you to this video which is going to make your parenting experience altogether different and your life different, right? And uh, kids learn a lot from observation, from their parents, because they are mainly with parents much time in their childhood. So how you behave is extremely important. That goes somewhere in their mind, you know. Even when they are babies, they are always observing you. Okay next point is um, scaring them for anything so stop doing it obviously this is not at all uh, good practice like maybe scaring them out of some ghost which is sitting there downstairs mm -hmm. so don't go out of the home scaring them uh, out of something maybe uh, darkness or scaring them with cockroaches you know these blunders so just stop doing it and if some kind of fear actually goes inside, uh, it is very difficult to get that stuff out lifetime. 
been, you know, a small, small quarrel as well. So I'm coming to that point. <coughs> Excuse me. Then uh, scaring uh, them is over, and then fighting in front of them. So basically, your kids have certain images in front of them, like mom and dad. Okay, so they don't know anything behind that, at least as of now. So whatever other fight you should learn keeping them inside the four walls of bedroom and never should come in front of kids. And basically kids do not understand the severity or you know, we fight at one moment and next moment uh, we come together because we are also humans and there are lots of emotional storms going on inside our minds and brains so this is natural but your kids if in case they find something going on as severe or something you know deeply impacts their minds and then it becomes very difficult to get that thing out and then they suffer from it lifetime or uh, it affects their behavior so you have to be careful about it and uh, don't even show your uh, mutual um, what I can say when you're not agree on any point mutually uh, don't show it in front of kids because uh, they're learning by observing you and they're good observer that time they, uh, and uh, once they get to know that there are differences of opinions present between you at some point they're gonna take advantage of this and hope it is not misadvantage okay so you have to be careful about it so being parent is not that easy isn't it so it's, it's a kind of exam i think <laughs> okay anyway uh saying always that you can't and you're not good at something this is again many times linked with the comparison or you can't do this well or you can't uh, write in good handwriting you can't play anything well you are not born as a player you better sit and study or uh, you can't cook very well you can't treat any other person very well anything like that that creates very deep impact inside and stop doing these things it affects kids in their long run life as well then um, interfering in between uh, siblings or cousins this is the very wrong thing even if your kids are fighting maybe you know uh, maybe with cousins maybe their best friends or maybe with their siblings give them their space you know with their own understanding this they are fighting you know maybe because that's my place and why are you sitting on my place it's that simple but you know uh, they understand the fact they realize their love and affection towards the kids you know whatever i mean towards the friend or towards the sibling after some time and this is how you know they generate feelings about uh, the friends or the siblings and they realize and they develop the bond in between them so this is something that they should learn okay so let them learn even if your kids are fighting don't instantly go and shout at them worst thing worst thing otherwise they'll just get scared of you and they'll keep on shouting at the back of you and another thing is uh, don't try to you know be as the uh, third party to solve all their issues they are very small kids their issues are not big as adults so let them fight and fights are also very beautiful because when they come back together after those fights they're very happy and you know the kind of love and the bond and the strength of that love that they develop is it's amazing okay so let them enjoy this experience too then uh, over restriction like do not wear this do not wear that I'm not saying if any inappropriate dresses are wear uh, are worn, you shouldn't say a single word. But always, you know, like uh, in Indian culture, if we are going for some traditional function, and maybe your daughter-in-law, she is tired of wearing sari, and she feels like wearing salwar kameez is good. Uh, let's say in our Marathi culture, because we people wear sari. And the Punjabi dresses are worn in, you know, not, not 
India, not a bar of India. So if somebody feels comfortable in that, then always you know telling no, 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 you should wear sari or praising other uh, people's daughter-in-laws who are there with the sari and not with the Punjabi dress. So this is not good. Uh, what you're doing is you're killing your relationship and nothing else. You know, so always give, keeping over restrictions or you can't you know do this you can't go out with that or without my permission uh, you can't invite your friends at home whatever you know uh, small small things small small things make big difference so stop you know always bombarding them with over restrictions i'm not talking about restrictions restrictions should be there uh, we live in a society so we also do have restrictions no matter in which geographical area you're living. But, uh, you know, over restrictions are no good. I know a few of you must be regretting. Uh, you might have caught yourself doing one or more things. But uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> don't blame yourself. This is common uh, nowadays. And I'm talking about common issues. So if these common issues are there in you, don't worry, you're normal and uh, if you work on yourself, all these things can be, uh, you know, healed out properly and you can create much more better life. And I'm here to help you out. Okay. So I'm doing this is I'm having my microphone with me. Okay. And another thing is, um, learn from your kids. Stop uh, always, you know, um, looking at your ego. Because kids are very fast, uh, their brains are super fast, and always we say new generation, you know, are super fast. They're faster because it's the human evolution. I love Darwin's theory. I also mentioned it in my one of the video about diet. So that's what Darwin said, and um, this is the evolution. So you have to, if you are a human, if you are a homo sapien, sapien animal, you must keep, uh, you know, learning and polishing yourself. So. Yeah, the, the next generation is smart and you must learn from them. I also uh, have learned a um, lot of things uh, through one of my, uh, let me tell you, uh, he's my German friend and uh, he's in 10th standard and uh, <coughs> I learned a lot of things from him and I learned a lot of things about um, this uh, kid. I mean, there is no much difference. I'm not at his mom's age and uh, i'm not at his age right now but i saw the difference uh, you know in the generation and i saw even if this generation is black you know still they are using all these uh, technologies with excellent skill and they're using all these uh, technologies for their beneficial thing <coughs> and i'm uh, very sorry uh, so um, I learned from him, uh, I really got surprised when he showed me, um, you know, um, surprisingly he sent me um, some newspaper photos, uh, PDF, and uh, he knows that I'm a publisher in India and I do have my magazine and everything, he's my very good friend, and uh, you know, I was surprised when he told me that he has written two articles in that uh, newspaper. So it is a fine surprise. I mean, uh, not just about a friendship. Uh, a friendship is too good and I'm happy about it. And it's wonderful. I learned from him, you know, at the small age he did that. And I published my first article uh, when I finished with my master's and I was working in the uh, hospital for my further studies. Uh, that was in 2010, 2010. That was my first English article uh, that was published in um, Sakal Times, which is a very uh, well known corporate English newspaper here in Pune, Maharashtra, at my place. So he did it at a very small age. So it is not so when we are giving access to WhatsApp or something to your kids. Uh, they're gonna spoil with everything. No, they are excellent minded and if you trust them, uh, they know what's good and what's not. 
because they are learning from your behavior and they have unlimited potential to do it and i was so happy that he did that and he shared that with me so this is how it is it is not a relation where i'm parenting you know him or like that we just friends because the uh, he is le- learning english as a third language and i'm having german as my third language so we both communicate in german and english so that's how our friendship is but it's very nice so keep learning from kids uh and it's one full experience when you learn from kids i personally love learning and i'm also learning uh you know i'm sharing this over here because all these people watching me they are part of green up the part of my family so this is just the general chit chat um private club of ours so i'm sharing all these things with my loved ones uh, who are watching this video i love learning languages so as i said i know german i'm learning bengali nowadays and uh, my book is also coming on bengali language i'm going to release the video on it uh, pretty soon how i learned bengali and i'm going to help all those people who want to learn bengali and i i can speak bengali a uh, little bit like on even uh, level uh, but now i'm learning bengali script i want to read bengali stories um because i'm so much fascinated with uh, yomkesh bakshi yomkesh bakshi is excellent detective serial that i was watching uh, in my childhood uh, with my father and my father and me we love yomkesh so much and now i'm watching yomkesh over youtube and Uh, you know, I know the topic is getting diverted, but it's very nice and fun when we are discussing after some serious uh, topics. <laughs> you know, so uh, that's how it is, and uh, so this is how the Yomkesh and uh, uh, stories of Rabindranath Tagore that I saw on Epic Channel. Uh, well, this video is not sponsored by Epic Channel or Yomkesh Bakshi or DB National. <laughs> please make this thing in mind i'm sharing all my personal experiences so this is how i am fascinated about uh, knowing more about bengali stories they're very nice and i want to learn more bengali stories and i love detective stories and uh, my favorite is the um, sherlock holmes i love reading sherlock holmes stories i'm actually a huge book reader i'm i'm a huge book reader right from my childhood So let's uh, we will just have a chit chat video uh, later on some day. So that's all for this video, and I hope if uh, any of you have got yourself with uh, any of these points, you must have refreshed yourself with my uh, time passed uh, talk as well. That is quite relaxing and refreshing. So do something as I'm learning Bengali, and uh, you should also learn something new. and uh, this will also make you um, you know adaptable to learning new from your kids as well it is not so that i'm your father and i know everything so i can't learn anything from you don't teach me do you feel you are smart or whatever 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 nonsense yeah literally so don't be like that with your kids and they're good and kids love to teach everybody they love to share their experiences so get benefit out of it you know uh that's it that's all for this video i am non stop talking in the single take 32 minutes and everybody who knows me they know that i love talking and i talk so much uh, but uh, this talk is very very valuable for all of you and i'm going to record a marathi and hindi version of this uh pretty soon so thank you so much for being with me uh do subscribe my channel if you haven't yet any topics you want me to talk on please uh do share it with me my email id is just below in the description box description box below and uh, your experiences or if you have worked on yourself your success stories do share it in the comment this video will be open for comment so thank you so much and last but not the least have Holly, Wally, and beautiful, lovely life ahead.